Hello everybody, I'm Mrs. Langan, and today what we're going to talk about is shapes. And when we talk about shapes, it's not just what is a shape, but it's actually finding the shapes. Sometimes they're not so obvious, and sometimes you have to look a little deeper to find them. Before we actually find the shapes, let's talk about some shapes. There are shapes that have three sides to it, there are some that have five, some that have ten, some, you could even have a shape that has a million sides to it. We're not going to look at a million sides because that's too big and that'd be too hard to count. But those are all the different shapes. There's even a shape that doesn't have sides to it. Do you know what that shape might be? Think so? Okay, let's look at it. I'm going to actually show that shape first. And then you can see why it doesn't have any what we call sides to it. It has something that goes around, but it doesn't have a side, and that was a big hint. And that first shape that we're going to talk about is a circle. And you can even have an oval, which would be long like this, or maybe up and down a little bit, but those don't have sides because we usually talk about sides as straight and they have rounded. So there's actually doesn't have a side, but it has what's called a perimeter and that goes all the way around and it's a circle. So let's look at this. Can you have a shape that has only two sides to it? Think about that. Is that possible? Only two sides. Let's try and draw two sides. So you have one and two. Hmm. That doesn't form a shape. It forms a letter and it forms something interesting, but it's not a shape. A shape has to be closed. Okay? So, hmm, is there any other way? Can you think of a way? Let's do two sides like that. Well, they don't join each other for one. <laughs> and the second thing is they still don't, they're not all included, so it doesn't make a shape inside. So it's all enclosed. So it's not possible to make a shape with only two sides. So how many sides do you need to make a shape? Did you say three? If you did, very good. If you have three sides, one, two, Three can join the two, and now you have the first kind of shape with three sides in it. And that, and it's the only kind of shape with three sides, is called a triangle. So that's your first shape. And then once you have, you have lots of different triangles, and later on, you're going to learn all the different types of triangles. But that's a triangle. You also have something, you have several shapes that have four sides to it. And the shape we're going to talk about today with four sides, well, actually two, two ones. Let's do a shape with four sides. One, two, three, four. That's called a rectangle. And the reason why it's called a rectangle is because notice this side and this side are opposite to each other, and they are exactly the same size. And notice that this one and this one are also opposite to each other, and they're exactly the same size. And when they join, they join just like that, like a eep, eep, and that's called a right angle. It's 90 degrees, so it's not like that, and it's not like that. It is like a corner in a room, where you've got it going straight up and then straight over. And that is important for a rectangle, okay? So two important things. The first one is that the opposite sides, so the sides that are, are like you say, opposite to each other, because when you look, you can see that one, and when you look, you can see that one. Those are opposite sides are the same, and opposite sides are the same, okay? And you have what's called a right angle, and that forms like a room where you're going one and then the other, okay? So it's called a right angle. That's a rectangle. Now, when you've got, I'm going to write out the word rectangle for you so that you recognize that word. This is a rectangle. This is a circle. This is an oval. And this is a triangle. 
So you've got lots of new words here, and I'm going to highlight them here. And here you've got a rectangle. Let's just put kind of like a rectangle around it, okay? Now, you've got one more that is a four-sided shape that you need to know, and that one is called a square. How many of you know what a square is? Good for you. Now, let's see this. A square, square is, it has the opposite sides, are the same just like in a rectangle and they have this corner that's 90 degrees but do you see the difference between the rectangle and the square what's happening here with this rectangle this particular rectangle and this square that all the sides are the same oh same length so the way you show length to show that they're the same is that we show a little tick to say they're all the same in a rectangle, just the opposite sides have to be the same. In a square, all of them have to be the same. So this is a square. And a square, all of the sides have to be the same. So I've got a question for you. Is a square a rectangle? Do the opposites, are the opposite sides the same? Because that's what a rectangle is. The opposite side, this opposite side, these are the same, and these are the same. So if they are the same, then yes, a square is a rectangle. But a rectangle isn't always a square, because this rectangle is not a square. But a square is always a rectangle, okay? so. That's important because now the question that you're going to do will be looking at how many rectangles are there. And even if you see a square, a square is a rectangle. So remember to count that. Let's count now. Let's go to this. It says here, Rebecca made a picture of a house using shapes. Look at this house. Can you identify any shapes in there? Can you see the shapes? I can see lots of shapes. Now, the question, next qu the question, the first question says, how many triangles did she use? Huh. Well, triangles have three sides to them. So, this is not a triangle because there are one, two, three, four sides. This is not a triangle. It's one, two, three, four sides. Do you see the triangle? Yes, the roof. Let's see this. One, two, three sides. So there is one triangle. There are no other triangles, so we'll put the number one down there. She, see, she used one triangle. Now, how many circles did she use? Well, you can see that, I think, fairly quickly. Let's see how many circles there are. There's one big circle right there, and there is another circle. Do you see it? Ah, okay, right here. So you've got a circle on the doorknob, and you've got a big circle up here for a window. So there's two circles. Now, how many rectangles did she use? Remember, a square is a rectangle. So let's count them all. I've counted one here. Actually, I'm going to use a yellow one so we can see this even brighter. One there. And then we've got two. And, oh, the door. Did you see that? Three. I can see one more. Can you see it? Very good if you got this. So this would make four for the answer for rectangles. So you've got four rectangles. That's it for the picture. Now, sometimes it's not so obvious. Sometimes you have a lot to count. And the best way to figure it out so you don't miscount and you don't forget to do something is to trace it. And that will help you remember which ones you counted and which ones you didn't. 
have fun with this and, um, and see what you can find. Maybe you can even make a picture yourself using shapes.